matchup features two teams who both walked away with a notch in the loss column last week. It's the Browns going up against the Bengals. Now for the call of this week seven matchup, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again everyone, I'm Brandon Gunn to my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. I'm in a few games. In the previous few games, it has been either Fitzpatrick or, or Robert Cook in the third. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Caught left side, it's Barnage. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And that's how you do it. Catch there by Gary Barnage, and there's no getting around it. The stunning, hasn't it? Yeah, first six years, total 44 catches. Then at age 30 last year, he goes for 79. Who says you don't get better with it? <laughs> A little dumb Oops. Oh, well, he gets a first down. Yes, sir. First down. Before he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated to read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back. Okay, first and 10 again. Passing to Gordon. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. First down again. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, if you do read games when he was at TCU, now you've worked his games in the NFL. What progression have you seen? I've seen a guy who took over as a freshman in college and got better and nope. better. Nope. Uh, no, you're getting in there. To his game, get stronger. But the best part about him is he's always been accurate. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, on that play, the expression, man, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet to the little under heavy no 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 do that on the sack the browns new signing from the jets demario davis in there to drop him for a loss of 10 and it'll be fourth you're down to the ground blitzing all the time often laugh and sometimes call it just offense trots back the line drive went for it on fourth turned it over a good job by their defense so they held him to three but this offense they've got to be a little bit better a little bit more careful here and sometimes LeBron when, guys. Fourth down, when they decide to go for it it's not necessarily the coach saying I believe in my offense Ooh, the they've got a third down and a yard to start things out I like what he's going for Gordon. No, never mind. To the side. Uh, oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to uh, get yes. first down. First down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots. Nice run. Nope. Goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. That play almost seemed like a baseball play. See ball, hit ball. But in this case, line lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. And out of the air, Dalton. Rush coming and nope. he's taken down. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss. And the last time they were out there ended up leading to a touchdown. So the only thing they didn't get really was the pick six. Because that's what everyone wants. Take it, take it immediately to the end zone. But their offense can't... Go, 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 go. Turn it into the 
the six points they were looking for. Yeah, set them up pretty, got the touchdown. Now they're back out there defensively. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running Let's go call him. a defensive player in another zone. He'll look to throw. First he down. Finds Coleman. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so he's the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra to the end with a short nope. run. Now a play fake here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. That one goes for 13 yards. And that's a, that's the way to do it. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the with a whole lot of confidence. Josh Gordon has a broken collarbone. Sight. First down. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Interesting because you play number nine of the drive here is they need four third and four. Johnson, I'm gonna need you to go to the other side. It's just too dangerous to go that side outright. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll look to throw again. Underneath for Johnson. <laughs> nope. And okay, first down. First down here as he gets this one to the 17 yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really. And I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he Coleman, does, this one's he going to you. Having to make those slide steps in the pocket. Go, 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 touchdown, bro! Touchdown, Cleveland. Dying. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Browns get a score closer. As a former DB, you might not like to see that from the wide receiver's perspective. Those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it. That should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed? <laughs> that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a little bit more pressure. Jump him! Yeah, use a pick! The user, 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 the user. Oh my, QJ, baby. Dang! That is the interception, though. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for the Go, 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 go. First down. Ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create. Come on, let's go. First, first and ten. Interception. He'll be looking for that second first touchdown. and ten. Let's go. Green. This one's going to Barnes. It's a short one here. Complete to the top. First down. And he's taken down. Damn. Okay, first and ten again. That's good recognition there. Okay, Barnage just wants to go to you. First down again. Back to back to back first down. Six for seven. They like that huge six six target that they got in there. Crowell. First down. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Important 
drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone. Yo, Hawkins! Oh, what a move! To get at least one more yard. First down. And five here. Second and five. This one's going to Gabriel. Go first down. Fail. This is the Patriots playbook. Barnage. Be responsible. Yeah. First down. Pow. 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 White flood. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Please get it. E Touchdown, bro. Please, Barnes, be open. Yes. First down. Uh. Barnage. Yeti. First down. First down. That's a big day. A gain of eight and a first. Been talking about it for years. You essentially get one step after the quarterback throws his pass. Anything close to that or beyond that, you're going to get flagged. They'll give it to him right up the gun. No. Nope. He is going to lose yardage here. No, 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 no. Partner, I think you can pin some of this on that O line that room to run, just not, not there. You mentioned last week that it felt like the offensive line was getting beaten to the punch by the guys across the ball. Was that pretty evident? No. Taken down. This will be a brown sack. Oh no, sir. We are decline that. Nice sack. It's come back time. They brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. Good call. Looking to throw. They yeah, Hawkins. Hawkins. First and down. He's the first down as he's up to the 45 yard line. 12 yards there as they move to completion. A tough third down awaits them. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Fight. Like. throw again. Yes, sir. First down. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Yes. First down. First. Injury timeout. Sorry. Come on, you're open. Yeah, first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And passing yard. Get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Barnes, this one's going to you, so be prepared. Touchdown, Browns! Into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Their big tight end with his first career. Touchdown, and the Browns have cut it back within a score. 
So they get the score, partner. Game's not over, but they still need some help here. Agreed. They definitely need some help, but they took care of the first part by scoring themselves. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Bengals, the win moves him up to five and two now. So I lose this one. What's he even close? Redskins come to town. It was ugly. Browns, things are definitely going south quickly as they fall now to one and six. Yeah. Back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, share, comment, subscribe. So for more videos, for Charles Davis, see you guys next time with another video. The NFL Peace. On EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals.